So hello and welcome to the first Silly Vicar show of 2016 and this is Chewy, my cat. Hello, hello Chewy. Wait, are you going to talk about me today? Today we're going to talk about Chewy. So today on the Silly Vicar Show, we're going to talk about Chewbacca, Chewy, because the Mini Vicar, <laughs> the Mini Vicar has been to see Star Wars, and he's really, really, really excited about the Star Wars film. And he was thinking, how can I, if I met an alien, if I met an alien from a completely different planet? From a galaxy far, far away. How? That's a classic from Star Wars. <laughs> that is a classic from Star Wars. How can I communicate with him? So how can I speak to Chewie from Star Wars? <laughs> now, in Star Wars, we have C-3PO, who is the translator between all the different aliens. The worst droid in the world. I like him. Shut up. Now... <laughs> He's from Mount Ash in Aber near Aberdeen. He's good here. But if we were going to speak to Chewie, how could we do it? Does Chewie speak English? Shall we find out? Let's have a go. Chewie, do you speak English? Happy New Year, Chewie. <laughs> no, nothing. Does Chewie speak Welsh? Shall we try? Let's have a go. Bloydin <laughs> Nuid Da. No. Because every spoken language, to Chewie, English just sounds like his own voice. It just sounds like what Chewie sounds like to us. It's just nonsense. He doesn't understand it. So, maybe Chewie could understand right in. Let's have a go. So, Chewie, Happy New Year. You understand? Nothing. Does Chewie understand? Greek in Arche Hoyen Logos. Do you understand that, Chewy? <laughs> no, because to Chewy, the Greek and the English is equally, well, nonsense. It's just lines on a piece of paper. He doesn't understand it. It doesn't mean anything to him. So, what about maths? Does Chewy understand maths? Let's have a go. Chewy. One plus one equals two. <laughs> no, he's clueless. But maybe he understands a different way of writing maths. Maybe he understands Roman numerals. Let's have a go. <laughs> no, no chance. Chewie is clueless because to Chewie, they're just lines on a piece of paper. They don't mean anything. <laughs> He's getting a bit cross now. Okay, so Chewie doesn't understand anything like that because language is a completely human construct. It's nothing to do with his planet. So what is the thing that unites us and aliens? If we wanted to speak to aliens, how could we do it? What are the ways in which we could do it? Well, there's one way, and that is through this. All right. What is that? Chewie, do you understand that? Yeah. Yeah, Chewie understands that because what that is, if you remember from maths class, that is Pythagoras' theorem. And it doesn't matter where you are in the universe, that will always make sense. Our universe speaks of the wonder of God. And our universe speaks a global, universal language that everybody can understand. And that leads us to epiphany. That's why the mini vicar is wearing white. And these guys, the three magi, and they followed a star to visit <coughs> the person of Christ. They followed a star because they saw the story of God within the stars. And God gives us clues and reveals himself through nature. And that's what the word epiphany means. Epiphany means 
to be revealed, to reveal yourself in the world. God reveals himself in epiphany. Now then, there is a better way to speak to people than through mathematics or through stars or through nature. God reveals himself through those ways, but there's a better way. And what I wanted to do is have a think about if you were going to speak to Chewy, how could you do it? What would be a better way than mathematics? And God uses the same method to speak to us. Now, don't forget as well, because it is a new channel, there is the Bobbly Jesus, which is still up for grabs. So if you subscribe to my channel or like me on Facebook, then we haven't got copyright for that. Get off! And it's a rubbish song. That's Reach for the Stars. That's a rubbish song. That's what they did, though. They reached for the star, didn't they? <laughs> they did. They reach did for... reach for the star. They did. So, Bobbly Jesus, don't forget, subscribe, like me on Facebook, and you could win a Bobbly Jesus. And think about it. Put it in the comments. If you were going to speak to an alien, how could you do it? And God uses the same methods, too. One more thing. One more thing, also as well, if you want to know more about Pythagoras, because you're a complete geek, and you want to know more about how God speaks to us through nature, there's some links in the description, and I'm going to do a special Geek Out Silly Vicar show uh, later on in the week, so you can find out all about Pythagoras and Pi and all sorts of other things. But here's a clue. The best way to speak to people and reveal yourself, use a song with a clue. When he gets it all his turn, hey! And got your troubles in your own skit, thank and smile, smile, smile. There you go, it's so old smile. that song, it's so old that song, you don't have to worry about copyright. So thanks for watching the Silly Vicar Show. Uh, if you liked it, you want to see more, subscribe underneath. And thanks to Andrew for being our production assistant today and helping us with all the different special effects. And as well, if you like it, like me on Facebook, Instagram, or read my blog at the bottom. So see you next week.